Are you wondering how much traffic your WordPress website is getting? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to check your website traffic inside of WordPress. I'm Tim from realwebsitehints.com, and it's my mission to help you find the best and easiest ways of building great quality websites. So in order to find out how much traffic our WordPress website is getting, we're gonna to need to install a plugin. The plugin we're going to be using is called Jetpack, and it's a free plugin and what I like about it is that it's made by the creators of WordPress. It also offers a lot of great features, especially if you're a beginner, and it's one of my most recommended plugins to get started with when you're building WordPress websites. So let's go ahead and see how we install this plugin and how we check the traffic on our WordPress website. Okay, so to add Jetpack to our website, from the WordPress dashboard, we wanna go over to Plugins, Add New, and then we wanna search for the plugin. So we're just gonna search for Jetpack. It just does happen to be right here at the top, so we can just click Install Now. And this can take a few minutes, so give it a few minutes to download and install onto your website. And then after it has installed, click Activate. And then to get Jetpack working on your website, we need to set it up, so click Set Up Jetpack. Choose a username, create a password, and then click Create Your Account. And then here you get to choose which Jetpack plan you want. I'm just gonna go with the free plan. If you are interested in the complete package, you can actually get almost all of the features in the complete package with DreamHost's DreamPress hosting plan. And that's actually what I use on my website and I think it's fantastic. But for this, let's just go ahead and go for the free version of Jetpack. So just scroll down so you can find the free versions. And we're gonna look for the one that just says Jetpack free and then we're gonna click on Start for Free. And then you're gonna choose which type of website you have. I'm gonna click Personal for this website. You can decide whether you want to be notified if your website goes down. I have noticed websites do go down every now and then for a couple of minutes, but you know, there's something wrong with your website, some plugin is causing some issues or something like that. You might wanna know about that, so go ahead and enable downtime monitoring. This is a function that will automatically add related posts to the bottom of your content. Depending on what theme you have, you may or may not want to do this. I'm going to just go ahead and enable it. I haven't used this feature. I'm not familiar with it, so I'm going to say not now. So other than the site statistics, I think that the site accelerator is probably the most exciting feature of Jetpack. And one of the main features that it offers is that you can take an image and upload it. Now it should be approximately the right, you know, frame size, you know, so say 600 by 400, 1000 by 500, whatever size image you have, but then it will automatically optimize that image so it'll load faster on your website. Plus it also uses WordPress's content delivery network, which basically loads files of your website on different servers all around the world to help your website load faster no matter where your viewers are. So I think that this is definitely a great feature to enable. So go ahead and click on Enable Site Accelerator. Okay, and there we go. Now we've got Jetpack installed. Now we'll be able to check how much traffic our website's getting right inside of WordPress. So there's two ways to do that. One is we can just go over here and under Jetpack, we can click on Dashboard. And our site stats will show up here. They will look like this. This is an example of a website that I've had running for a little while. So it'll take a few days for Jetpack to show any stats here. And if your website's brand new like this website is, it's gonna take some time for you to build up some content and for Google to find your website in order for traffic to show up here. And the other place that you'll be able to check your website traffic is right on the dashboard. Jetpack will install a widget right here. It might be on a different place on your dashboard, but if you scroll down your dashboard, you'll find it. And that will also show you the stats of your website. And now that you've got Jetpack installed, there's actually a third way that you can view the traffic that your website's getting, and that is with the WordPress app. Simply download the WordPress app to your phone, log in with the credentials that you just created, and right there, you'll be able to see the statistics of your website. You'll also be able to respond to comments and even make a new post if you want to right inside the app on your phone. So that's a pretty cool feature. So there you go, that is how you check how much traffic your website's getting inside of WordPress. And if you have other questions about how to get started building websites or what to do next, 
definitely leave them down in the comments below. At the end of this video, I'll also link to an alternative method for finding your website traffic using Google Analytics and a different plugin that will connect Google Analytics to your website so you can view what Google has to say about how much traffic your website's getting. And if you're not sure whether your site's been indexed by Google yet, I have another video that will show you how to check whether your site's been indexed by Google and how to perhaps speed up the process for new website owners. If you liked this video and you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.